The hypoglossal nerve is the twelfth cranial nerve and is purely motor. Its fibers arise from the hypoglossal nucleus located in the medulla. The hypoglossal nerve arises on the ventral aspect of the medulla, between the pyramid and the olive, being related at this level with the vertebral artery, which is located anterior to the nerve. Further on, the hypoglossal nerve exits the cranial cavity by way of hypoglossal canal. At the level of angle of mandible, the nerve curves forward, crossing in front of the internal and external carotid arteries and the loop of the first part of lingual artery to reach the posterior margin of the hyoglossus muscle. Now it runs on the superficial surface of the hyoglossus and gives off branches to three of the four extrinsic muscles of the tongue. Branch to hyoglossus muscle, branch to styloglossus muscle and branch to genioglossus muscle. It also gives branches to all intrinsic muscles of the tongue. Those were branches of the hypoglossal nerve proper. The hypoglossal nerve also carries fibers from the C1 spinal nerve, which we will indicate further using the green color. These fibers travel along the hypoglossal nerve to supply the geniohyoid muscle and the tyrohyoid muscle. Some fibers from the C1 spinal nerve have a recurrent course traveling along the hypoglossal nerve to enter the cranial cavity by way of hypoglossal canal as the meningeal branch to supply the dura mater of the posterior cranial fossa. Finally, as the hypoglossal nerve crosses the internal carotid artery, it gives off the superior root of ansa cervicalis.